There has been a breakthrough in cancer cure. There's some really stunning data coming out of this. Tumors are gone with no chemo, no radiation, no surgery. We might just might be closer to stopping cancer. For years, the momentum has been building and now there is this potential cancer breakthrough as groundbreaking pill annihilates all types of solid tumors in early study. Quote, scientists have developed a holy grail cancer drug that kills all solid cancer tumors while leaving other cells unharmed. The new molecule targets a protein present in most cancers that helps tumors grow and multiply in the body. It is significant because this protein, the proliferating cell nuclear antigen, PCNA, was previously thought to be undruggable. The drug was tested on 70 different cancer cells in the lab, including those derived from breast, prostate, brain, ovarian, cervical, skin, and lung cancer, and was effective against them all. The pill is the culmination of 20 years of research and development by the City of Hope Hospital in Los Angeles, one of America's largest cancer centers. The latest study, published in the journal Cell Chemical Biology, revealed that the new drug had been tested on more than 70 cancer cell lines and several normal human cells that did not have cancer but were used as a control. The molecule selectively killed cancer cells by disrupting their normal reproductive cycle, preventing cells with damaged DNA from dividing and stopping the replication of faulty DNA. This combination of factors caused the cancer cells to die without harming healthy cells in the process. The drug is now being tested on humans in a phase one clinical trial at City of Hope Hospital in Los Angeles. The early results show the drug does not have any toxicity or harmful side effects. So there is incredible excitement now over this potential cancer treatment. Over the past few years, there have been several other cancer breakthroughs. Immunotherapy has shown promise in targeting specific cancer cells. And there are some blood tests that seem to be able to predict certain types of cancers in advance before tumors begin to form. But every cancer is unique and attacking and stopping solid tumors in multiple forms of cancer has been out of reach until now. And so you can appreciate the excitement. This particular drug is called AOH 1996. It is named after Anna Olivia Healy, who was born in 1996 and died at age nine from a type of cancer called neuroblastoma. Dr. Linda Malkus, who leads the research team, met Anna's father just before his young daughter died and was inspired to find a cure in her memory. All of this comes as COVID vaccine scientists are now predicting a cure for most types of cancer will come within 10 years. All of us know people who have died from cancer or who are currently battling cancer, so I wanna be careful here. With any medical research, there is often a step backwards for every two steps forward. Plus, many of us have family members and friends whose cancer is so advanced that the latest breakthroughs will not arrive in time to save them. Still, I hope we can all take some satisfaction in the progress that is being made. The day seems to be coming when humanity will indeed beat cancer. That dreaded disease, which comes in so many forms and affects so many people, will be stopped. The impact on our lives and on our communities will be profound. And it will underscore that when human beings rely on facts, embrace science, work together, welcome help, and keep on going despite the setbacks, literally anything is possible, even curing cancer. By the way, let's keep the good news going. Countless people have stepped up to help an 11-year-old boy in Texas who was bullied and needed friends. Um, I just wanted to see if you if you knew any kids around like eleven or twelve, maybe, because I need I need I need some friends, like from really bad. Check out that story at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.